Hi, I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from Painless Financial Training Group. Today I'm talking about getting receipts for parking. One of the things that will plague you if you have a Canada Revenue Agency audit is that you have to have receipts for every disbursement that you've made. If you want to claim a deduction, then you have to have a receipt. So for years we've had trouble with pay phones, dollar stores, parking meters, that type of thing. And the payphone problem is probably over because most people have cell phones now, and we're getting some progress being made in the parking meter issue. Larger cities don't really have meters you put coins in anymore. A lot of them is area parking. You pay some money at a kiosk, put in your license plate number, and you have an excellent receipt because you have your credit card, your license plate number, date and time. It's, it's very good. So places where we're still putting coins into parking meters, of course, aren't as good. The picture you see here, I took on a recent business trip to St. John's, Newfoundland, and what they've done is they put card readers on top of really old parking meters so that you now have a choice to pay with coins or to pay with a credit or debit card. And of course, if you're there on business, you should be using a credit or debit card so that you can prove you are the person who incurred the expense, and that way you're able to take the deduction. So we're always on the lookout for ways to make sure that you don't pay more taxes than you have to, and this is an improvement. If you can get a receipt for parking that's tied into your credit card, you should do that.